أعوذ بمن الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدك ولا إله غيرك أعوذ بمن الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge in Allah from misleading and from being misled from betraying and being betrayed into ignorance by others I ask Allah to guide my heart and to guide my tongue I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger in speaking of the Prophet Muhammad, we are speaking of the Prophet Muhammad who lived 1400 years ago, who was an Arab by birth, unto whom Allah revealed the Quran, the book that Muslims follow. There is a chapter in the Quran, and it is the shortest chapter in Quran, it is three verses. And it says, the Arabic of which is, Wal Asri, Inna linsana la fi kusri illa ladina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqi wa tawasaw bil sabra. The English translation renders this by the token of time and through the ages. Verily, man is a loser. Except those who are given to righteousness and who counsel each other to truth and who counsel each other to patience. It is in this context that I would like to approach the topic that has been given to me to speak on and that all of the speakers have spoken on concerning new visions for the upcoming decade. And in fact, when we look at it and we reflect, we find out that the vision of righteousness is not a new vision, but it is a vision in which Allah has implanted within man an aspiration that gives him the guidelines in, by which he may struggle or to be successful in struggle. The only thing that changes is time. There is a tradition of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with him, that says that man abuses the vicissitudes of, of time, the changes of time. And Allah says, and he is time. So the whole thing that, 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 that shows a lack of stability, of fluidity, is the fact that there will be different times but the aspiration, the vision, the whole sense of what struggle is about will remain the same. And it is about trying to draw a nearness to your creator, trying to draw a nearness to the creator. Again, Allah says, he has created man and jinn, but to worship him. He has created the mankind and the jinn, but to worship him. Again, it is in this context that we begin to understand what the real struggle is about, what the sense of struggle is about, what our mission is about. And in this sense that Allah SWT begins to give us guidelines so that regardless of what time we may have been born in, what era we might find ourselves in, the guidelines will be the same as to what will bring about success, how we could be successful in this life. It is in this sense that we begin to look at what Allah has commanded upon us. By giving us the book, which is Quran, and the example of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Again, it is through these things that we have a sense of what is happening in the 1980s and what is happening in the 1990s. It is not something that is alien or strange because the character of man is the same. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says, believe that a mountain move before you believe man can change his character. That deals in the context of what is called the taqdir and qada, in that when Allah created things, he measured for everything, and nothing can get outside of that in which Allah SWT has measured for him. So the character of man would be the same as when Allah created him and today. So as Allah has given us remedies, because he says of the Quran itself, it is a book in which there is a healing. It is a book in which there is a healing. It deals with every aspect of what we find ourselves confronted with. So in that sense, the application of the practice is that which brings about the cure, that which brings about the cure for the diseases that we find mankind plagued with today. And it is on the basis of these things that we have to begin to address ourselves. In the sense of where we find ourselves, one of the things that seemingly confuses man the most is the concept of peoplehood. What determines peoplehood? Again, Allah says in the Quran that he has created the races that men might get to know each other, not that they would despise each other. The best amongst you is he who is most righteous. The companions of the Prophet asked him, what is righteousness? He said, good behavior. 
to the best of bunks, men are those who have the best behavior.